Good day, YouTubers, and thank you for tuning in to today's food and video on YouTube. I've actually got my backyard garden sorted out today. Yeah, my backyard garden is straightforward, infested with grey squirrels, and my camera is playing funny of me. And funnily enough, I think I just read the word grey squirrels a little bit softly because I've got dyslexia. Uh, but yeah, we've got some grey squirrels right in the backyard garden, normally about one. Uh, sometimes we might be able to see two. That normally come up to feed. And I'll just come along and go ahead and get to the other side. This is the other bedroom, of course. And of course, yes, we're nearly up, coming up towards Halloween time, which is the time of making this video because you know, you know, the days are getting shorter. And actually, oh my goodness me! Whoa, it's actually very beautiful and sunny outside. Look how crisp and colourful. <laughs> The, uh, the autumn background is, I mean, don't you just love it? It's just stunningly beautiful. There you go. Obviously, everything is all nicely, all beautiful, except for the windows. Uh, but I can't see the squirrel. Uh, I'm off the straight forward. Yeah, that other side of the window is a bit dirty, in a sense, too. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of all that nasty germ stuff right here. There's a lot of moist and dew right here blocking the way, which I'm not really surprised, because it's normal for that time of the year. Same with this other window here. I don't think I'll be able to try and uh, get rid of it. Because, you know, it somehow is very impossible to clear off on the other side of the uh, the windows. Because it's a bit dangerous to do so. Maybe this side here might be bearable. And if I actually turn the brightness just a bit, then maybe I might be able to see the squirrel. But I can't tell. Because the squirrel has actually gone ahead to like other parts of the backyard garden. There's a lot of glare right here, which I can't actually show you where it actually is properly. But there might be times that the squirrel might be here. And there's actually quite a lot of things. I might have a chat about uh, the squirrels popping in my backyard garden. Because I've actually had... Yeah, there's actually one feeding out right here. If I go ahead and zoom in just a bit, there's actually one that's actually right in the feeders. I'm going to have to lock the, uh, the camera brightness tool because it's just just playing annoying. And I just can't see it. Somehow I'm going to have to straight forward. Uh, I can't see it. I think I can just see it feeding, but my camera just not, does not want to do it. And I think it's just popped out again. Maybe if I just go back to the same side as where I've seen that squirrel before. Uh, no, uh, that's a bit strange. That squirrel has just moved away from that feeder that was in. I did say it's the, uh, the window that's blocking my way. That's not really good. Uh, obviously it likes to show things right in the foreground but not tucked away in the background. Uh, that's something I really don't like about this. I could have just headed outside but then that would probably disturb the, uh, the squirrel's privacy. Although I might as well have a bit of a chit chat about the squirrel and see what damage it has caused because I've noticed along with rats they can cause some very serious damage effects to like people's gardens and it's back I can just definitely tell where it is and uh, it's actually feeding on more bird food now, strangely enough I can't really see it maybe if I just have a look at it a bit closely then maybe we might start to see it there it is I can just see just a little hint of squirrel tucked at the backyard. I just saw its fur, and what I can also see is a tub full of bird food. Strange enough, I can't see any more of that stuff. And it looks like the squirrel has just disappeared. And it looks like it's going back into the bird feeder. I can just see that little thing moving. That tells me it is a squirrel. I don't know if I can get as close to it because I've seen so many grey squirrels before in my life. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I can tell you what. They are very prolific feeders. And yes, as I said before, normally they tend to be feeding lonelysome, if that's a word. And it looks like they're going out of their way here. Look, I don't know if I'm filming it properly or not. Oh, I'll have to go downstairs and see how everything goes. I might have to be very stealthy here because I might actually spook the little bugger here. Right. I know I am. Oh, there he is. Oh, just so beautiful. 
can just see the squirrel is definitely tucked at the back. Don't think I can get it in focus, but I have to be very quiet. There he is. Oh, I don't know. It's a bit, yeah, it's a bit cold, isn't it? We're going up towards winter time, aren't we? Yeah. But you can just see that lovely little eastern grey squirrel feasting a bit of food that I've just implemented. You know, it's all bird food, but the squirrels have got a nice chop. And actually, I can just see two. Uh, as funny as it sounds, there's one. And there might be another one here. Somehow there's just an abundance of grey squirrels here. Goodness me. I just have to be very careful. And I just heard some bird noise here. And strangely enough, what's also... Oh my goodness me, there's pigeons right here. I wonder what these pigeons are up to. Hello you two. Have you had any food during this cold morning? I might give you to some later on. Maybe in another video's time I might try and film you. You guys eating. A bit of food and stuff. I think these birds are checkered pigeons. They're all feral pigeons. Because I think they are... They're totally prolific at breeding. Somehow I can just keep on filming. Lovely little buggers. Oh my goodness me, they're very chubby. Uh, but I'm going to focus on the squirrel here. There's one right there. I'm just going to turn the brightness a little bit off. There he is, going for a bit of food. I need to move very quietly and carefully. And as stealthy as I am, I can just see the squirrel just feeding on a bit of it. As long as I'm not stepping through leaves and stuff. There it is. And it looks like it's standing upright like a little meerkat. Straight for looking out. For any other critter like me to come and pounce me on it just for food. Or him and her. I can't really tell. And right there's my backyard garden. I might cover about my backyard garden in a separate video because a lot of my plants are dead. Well, sort of. You can just see how nonchalant the squirrel is. It's just feeding very nonchalantly. Fantastic. Beautiful, isn't it? It's just absolutely fantastic. Whoa! I just heard it. I think it just got a bit spooked. I won't go too close to it, but definitely as close as much as the squirrel wants. Ah, just such a beautiful critter. Love when it's actually feeding. Highly suggesting how that is totally beautiful. And the pigeons are straightforward. They're straightforward cooing in the background. It's amazing how that little grey school just does its hard work of just. Oh, goodness me. It's just basically chowing down at the whole bird food tub. Makes a perfect meal. For, and you can even see it's just eating seed by seed. Just highly amazing how, and how it prolifically just eats. Almost everything or anything, bird eggs, acorns, nuts, fruits, seeds, etc. And also the cannibals, right. Wow, it's just amazing. I can't believe it. I think it's just got a bit spooked. Okay, I'm actually right in the back of the garden now, as always. I've got more plants being planted. And... Wow. Goodness. That's weird. I think this squirrel has actually caused a bit of damage to the bird feeder. Oh my god. It has its tail here. I never knew I was filming it. 
very close. Very cute little sounds. I think the birds aren't very happy about this. Because uh, it is meant to be bird food, but the squirrels, they're certainly, oh my goodness, they're certainly chopped every seed off. There's also some bird life out here, which I'm quite curious, I don't know, is it, is it the sound of a robin? I've got no idea. Yeah, British wildlife is actually quite totally interesting to film. There's actually some birds that are just singing right over in the bushes here. There's a lot of blackberries here. Noticing we're going up towards fall or autumn. I think fall is the American term for it. And let me just show you the damage that the squirrels have done to this bird feeder. And actually, one of the squirrels has actually damaged one of the sides of the bird feeder. It has gnawed into one side. And guess what's happened? The squirrel claws... And also their sharp incisors have actually gnawed straight through to these pieces. Now, that's not a very good sign. So, I might try and do a separate video about how you can actually prevent squirrels from getting into your bird feeder. And to let birds into your bird feeder prolifically without having the damage caused by grey squirrels, well, there are quite a lot of options. I would suggest to buy like a caged bird feeder or even like a mechanism in which the bird feeder actually is straightforward too small for, for grey squirrels, but it's actually quite big enough for birds. Let's just say a large crow or a jackdaw or a raven or a magpie would feast on your bird feeder, but then, hey, you know, even a squirrel can't even bear it. You know, I'm just sort of thinking of getting some very prolific bird feeders to stop the grey squirrels from hogging the food. Uh, obviously, that's just one thing I would, I would love to do is try and get a much more prolific bird feeder to the two squirrels right over my backyard garden. And hopefully it should be a much better way of doing stuff. And because it's this time of the year, and it's getting up towards as close as winter time, which is going to be very cold. Well, not as cold as you might think, because our winters are quite mild somehow, because of climate change and global warming. Well, I might as well think of various solutions in order to like produce a very good looking bird feeder area here and of course here yeah, since I'm done with gardening plants up until the next spring time um, yeah I might try and try and actually think about you know creating as some sort of bird feeder garden and hopefully that should somehow develop into something fairly nice and the pigeons are still cooing right inside of course and I can see a couple of pigeons that are just straightforward cooing there's a lot of courtship going around here with the pigeons and stuff. Therefore, I can't. Oh, there's one here. Whoa! It's actually two pigeons that are making a lot of noise. I don't think they will pipe down, but hey, who knows? I might give them some food. Anyways, I think that's just about it in this video. It was nice seeing a bit of grey squirrel activity. If you really enjoyed this video, please give this video a like. Subscribe for more for like videos in the future. And as always, thanks so much for watching. And goodbye for now. It's really cold outside.